Can you officially save your progress in a Google form? No. Is there a workaround to get around it? Of course there is. Here is a highly challenging Google form that I've made all about names. So we're in Google Forms, we're going to go to the settings icon and click on that. We're going to make sure we're in the general tab and we're going to tick the box next to collect email address and response receipts. And we're going to make it so that copy of the responses are sent to their email. I don't need it to be restricted to my Hamburg users right now and I'm going to click on the box that says edit after submit. Now that is a caveat of this method. You are allowing your students to edit their submissions, including those questions that they've already answered on this potential quiz. After clicking save, we're taken back to our form and we see that they have added an email address question for us automatically because we ticked that box for collect email address. Now that we have the settings the way we want them, we can use the preview function in forms to see what this would look like for the students and to show you how this would work when they're filling it in. So say I'm a student filling this in right now. The first thing I do is provide my email address. It's got to be one that actually works. Uh, I'm going to add in my answers to some of these questions. I'm going to tick off a couple of radio buttons here to answer questions as well. And now after I answer the questions that I can get done in the time I have, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to tick the box next to where it says, I'm not a robot because I'm not and I hit the blue submit button and now an email gets sent to my Gmail account and it looks just like this so you'll see a, an email from Google Forms with a button inside that says edit response what this does is it brings you to a pre-filled form pre-filled with the answers I've already provided so they're there and the ones I haven't are still blank pretty cool right so let's show you how that looks on the teacher side of things you head back into the form editor click on the responses tab and then the little spreadsheet icon you can create a new spreadsheet to collect all the responses to this form and it does it for you automatically and it opens it up and you can see here my responses with the two cells blank for the two questions that I didn't answer yet but my other responses are filled in so let's go answer the rest of those questions I'm gonna go back to the form that was sent to me via my email and I'm gonna enter my answers to those last two questions and I'm going to click on the box again that says I'm not a robot because I am still not a robot and then I'll click the blue submit button and if we jump right back to our spreadsheet nice and quick we're gonna see those answers pop right in responder updated this value so those cells take my answers automatically